I'm Joan Cartan Hansen, and welcome to Science Trek, the web show, and welcome to St. Alphonsus Hospital in Boise. Joining me now to answer your questions about the five senses are two doctors, Dr. Naya Antic and Dr. Bradley Bishop. Thank you both for being here. Thanks, Joan, for inviting us. Oh, it's our pleasure to be here. Okay, let's go to your questions. Hi, my name is Atsuna. I go to White Pine Elementary School, and my question is, do all living organisms have the five senses? That's a great question. Most organisms have five senses, but there are a few organisms, specific animals, that have more than five. One example of this is the platypus that has a sixth sense called electroreception, where they can sense electrical signals that are emitted from other organisms. Hi, I'm, I'm Robert. I'm from Jefferson Elementary School, and my question is, how do your ears work? Ears are like, um, are basically like a cone that absorbs sound waves and transmits them into electrical signals that go to your brain to actually hear the sound. Monique would like to know, how does your brain work with the five senses? So that is a very good question. So we all have the five senses, and each sense is connected to a specific part of your brain. Um, so when you touch something, the, the, your sensory fibers send that to a specific part of your brain, and your brain is able to then process that and let you know that you have touched something. The same goes with taste, vision, and smell. Um, the, each, each of those senses has a very specific part of your brain that the brain then processes that signal and lets you know what that sense is. My name is Colby and I go to Jefferson Elementary School. And mine is how do you taste? So taste is determined by special cells on your tongue that are on the bumps of your tongue that when you eat certain foods the chemicals from the food trigger a particular taste bud or more, and that sends signals to your brain to tell you what you are tasting. Hi, my name is Jack from White Pine Elementary, and my question is, what purpose do the retinas in your eyes serve? So the retina is the back part of the, your eye. So if you think of your eye, it's, it's like a tennis ball. So the back of the eye um, is where your retina resides. The light passes through the pupil or the hole in the front of the eye and then your lens reflects that onto the retina and in the retina you have special cells called cones and rods which help you perceive light and help you perceive color and then sends that signal to your brain. Hi, my name is Tan. I go to White Pine Elementary School. How does your hand tell the difference between hot and cold? There are specific receptors, sensory receptors in your hand that can help you sense hot and cold. And depending on the temperature of the object, how hot it is or how cold, that will send the signal to your brain and it'll give you the sensation of hot or cold. And sometimes if it's very extreme, there'll be a pain sensation associated with that. So you know to move your hand away from the hot stove or from the cold ice if it's been touching too long. Hi, my name is Robert. I go to Segal Elementary School. My question is, how does the sight part of the brain work? So Robert, the way your brain works is it gets signals from your eyeball that then transmit to the occipital lobe of your brain, which is what processes and determines the things that you see. My name is Kylie. I go to Jefferson Elementary. My question is, how do you know what you're feeling? When you touch something, or feel something with a different part of your body, that object is pressing against your skin, which has receptors that send signals to your brain that something is touching it. Depending on what the texture of that thing is, or the temperature, that will send a different pattern of signals so that you, in your brain, can sense if it's something hot or cold, pokey or smooth, um, and what part of your body is getting that signal from. Hi, my name is Callie. I go to Jefferson Elementary, and my question is, why does you still breathe? Why can you still breathe when 
your nose is stuffy. So when your nose is stuffed up, you do have mucus within your nose, um, but oftentimes it doesn't fill your whole nose, and so you can still get air through your nose. Um, as you realize, sometimes it might be hard to breathe, and if that's the case, a lot of times we will then breathe through our mouth. Um, but air is, a, is something that's necessary for us to have, and so we are going to continue to breathe. So even if our nose is stuffed up, most of you will open your mouth so that you can continue to breathe and to live. Hi, my name is Serby. I'm from White Pine Elementary School. And my question is, do all trees have the same senses as humans for their living organisms as well? So trees are a different type of living organism. They do not have a central nervous system, so a brain like we have. And so they do not have the same types of senses that we do have. Um, the only sense um, that plants really do have is that they can sense light um, because light is what they need to grow. And so that's why often you'll see the trees and plants grow towards the light is because they do have that sense. But as far as touch, um, smell, taste, those are not senses that plants have. Hi, my name is Callahan. I go to White Pine Elementary School and my question is, can we have more than five senses? So we being human have only five senses and that's all that we do have. We do not have any additional senses, but there are many animals within the animal kingdom who do have additional senses that we do not have um, and also lack some of the senses that we have as well. But for us, we're stuck with just the five. I'm sorry we've run out of time. My thanks to Drs. Antic and Bishop for answering questions. Thanks, Joan. We've had a good time today. And we've learned something, too. My thanks also to the folks here at St. Alphonsus for hosting us. If you want to learn more, check out the Five Senses area on the Science Trek website. You'll find facts, links, games, our Five Senses broadcast show, and lots more. And every week, check out my blog for the latest science news for kids, all at idahoptv.org. Thanks for joining us for Science Trek, the web show.